Okay, I've been asked, how do you test the spark transformer, that's right there, on an oil burner while it's installed? I did one and kind of showed how it worked uh, earlier, but it was not in the furnace. Now, this is an old Becky burner, and uh, uh, they flip open like this most of them flip open like this anymore uh, some of them flip to the side and so on but most of the well the Becky's all do this um, and so there's a couple of things you gotta know before you start this number one don't start it with it already open if you do this little sensor right here that's the uh, CAD cell it's gonna probably see light if it sees light, it won't start. It can't see light before ignition. It must see light after. So, anyway, uh, so we have that up like that. And you fire it off. Now, remember, you're going to have anywhere from 40 seconds to, uh, well, some of them are 90 seconds. None of these CAD cell relays are, but some of the really old ones were 90 seconds. So you don't have a whole long time to do this. Have to have your screwdriver ready. Okay, off it goes. You open it, keep your fingers away from here. And you can see that spark. That's a good solid spark. It's long, it goes out to about three quarters of an inch. It's got big yellow things on it. Now I'm going to get you closer to that. Now this will probably show it up a little better. It's kind of fuzzy, but you can see the spark better. Be sure you use a well-insulated screwdriver, otherwise you're going to get a shock. It won't kill you, but it'll sure let you know it's there. Start it close and draw it out. It should draw it to about three quarters of an inch. Now you can see how that's that's working really well. So there's nothing wrong with this thing. Now it just safety out. That's another important thing you should be doing while you do this. It's one of the things we do oftentimes to test the safety. Lift that thing out like that because then the CAD cell can't see light. If it can't see light, then it's got a safety out. And you've tested it to be sure it works. Okay, so uh, it's safety out, shut down. After a couple of minutes, you can press this button and try it again. Remember, got to start out like that. Start it up, flip it over, and then you can put your screwdriver in there. Uh, the other thing you can do if you want the uh, CAD cell relay to not see light. Uh, you can just pull it out and just leave it removed. Then you could leave it open if you wanted to do that. Okay, one more time. I've uh, reset the safety. Being careful not to get too close to the screwdriver, the metal part of the screwdriver. And you can check the spark with this thing. That's it on the machine. So you can check your spark, make sure it's working normally. Uh, in case you have a problem, it won't ignite or something like that. Anyway, that's checking the spark.